my Virgo mind because he's a Leo and his What's your sign? Pisces. He always say, I know how Sagittarius is. Like, I mean, Pisces are known to be very deep, very emotional. But it's like, you gotta step out that shit. We Leo's. Think, baby, I'm Aquarius. I started this game to shit. It's Aquarius and a Scorpio. So I say, is it, is it a Sagittarius? Thing? Have you ever seen a Scorpio fall off? I'll wait. As a matter of fact, just put it down in the comments. And I'm not talking about the low life Scorpio from your hood. I'm talking about a Scorpio who made it and then fell off. I ain't think so. It's no secret that people dream to live the life of these Scorpios. Of course, we got Diddy, the OG Scorpion up in the bar. This man made a come up when he first produced Jodeci's Come and Talk to Me. He talks a little bit about it in an interview him and his son, King Combs, did with Billboard. Let me remind you that this song came out in 91. And he is still living his best. This is because they have Leo in their 10th house. Scorpio's public image and social influence is influenced by Leo. A Scorpio literally motivates themselves to shine. And even with their family and children, they want them to shine too. Because of their fixed energy and drive, their lives often go pretty much the way they want it to. This is a sign that will work for what they want. This is not a lazy sign. Period. Point. Blank. As far as love goes... That may be a little bit of a different story. It should be noted that Scorpios, for the most part, can live a really good life when they learn how to master their emotions. No, I'm going to say reactions instead of emotions because they really are emotionally mature and proud of it. Once they make the transformation, we can all be safe. Have you ever seen a Scorpio upset? Oh, yeah, exactly. No one wants it. But let's be clear, Scorpio men really do want you to be scared of them. It's when you let them know that they don't scare you, that's when they'll take notice. If you show weakness to a Scorpio man, he will sweep down on you, grab you up, and toss you back wherever you came from. You can show them emotion, but please don't seem weak. People think Scorpios are a little thotty, but this is a major misconception because they are very picky with who they give it up to. While you're counting the list of who they've been with, they are busy counting the multiple times their hearts have literally been broken. Now, don't get it twisted. They do love sex. If you are theirs and they are yours, I can guarantee you they want it every day. This is why people believe they can be a little loose, but so far from the truth. Now, if you're talking about revenge, that's a whole different video. Do not mistake their passion for love, though. Again, do not mistake their passion for love you will never have to guess if a scorpio loves you or not ever and outside of aries they are the best sign to be a ride or die the difference between scorpio and other water signs is that a scorpion actually lives on land yes they can definitely survive in the water for a little bit but they live on land and this is why they are able to come back down to earth and realize that life just ain't fair sometimes this is most likely when the road to success begins and best believe they work alone, period. Scorpio is the sign that has been through the most. These people have been through so much and they take a heartbreak like no other. If you ever have time, sit down and talk to a Scorpio. And if they decide to tell you about the time somebody broke their heart or the multiple times, you will be thinking to yourself, how in the hell are they even still alive? Real ish. Ask one. I doubt if they'll tell you about it, but they might. When the storm is over, these people definitely live a good life. Listen to what Future told Billboard about his live, life. The more you build, the more you learn, the better you get. You know what I'm saying? I always wake up and be like, I love my life. So if you're really living a great life, if you're blessed and you have to recognize that and just run with that alone, like, because you also know there's people going through it. I promise you, I can't ask for no more, you know what I'm saying? Like, but just to stay successful and continue building on my music career and just stay focused and just keep a level head. And just, I want to continue to make music forever, you know what I'm saying? Somehow. I and with all his success and notoriety, he still don't plan on stopping. No time soon. 
These people are self-made and they do get their way. So if you're ever dealing with a Scorpio and they are probably going to win. And that is the argument, the fight, the beef, whatever it is, they'll probably win. They are very competitive, but they are not openly competitive. Once they evolve, you will see that they won by what they have accomplished, period. On the flip side of all that, Scorpios need to remember that they are not God. The uninvolved ones can use the same self-discipline and self-motivation and, and, and everything that they have, self-empowerment, and they can easily go to the dark side. This is because they are weak when it comes to knowing the power that they have. So they use them to get revenge and destroy, like literally. This is the most revengeful sign of the Zodiac in their unevolved state. So if a Scorpio is saying they gonna get you, don't take it lightly. If a Scorpio tell you they got a trick for your ass, they're not talking about magic. One thing I have seen, though, with both Future and Diddy is that their kids want to be just like them when they grow up. And that says a lot for a black father. It shows that these are some decent men. Future son was on Hip Hop DX talking about it. Just looking at the crowd react to him and how goddamn he get awards and winning stuff. It's just like, dang, I can do that. Like, it's a possibility I can get that same award and people can know all my songs word for word just like they know his song. So that's why, like, well, that's one of my main uh, influences for real. And we are sure Drake's son will be saying the same thing about him one day, especially after his most recent interview on Yachty's new podcast. Drizzy has evolved, and it was giving big Scorpio energy. That could be as far as anything, but what is it there that to even search for or want as a as a human, as a man who has touched so many things? Well, I think like on a broader scale, I think I'm at the point now where I just want to like, and I I feel like maybe we talked about this the other day, but I. I I feel like I'm kind of introducing the concept in my mind of a of a graceful exit mm. like always remember nobody is exactly the same as we all have control over our own individual actions astrology should be used as a self-help guide for manifesting what we want astrology should not be used for effery if you know what I mean Never try to change anyone. Start with self and everything else will fall into place. The sooner the better. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and share the video. Thanks for watching. And personal readings can be booked on our website at blackastrologyatl.com. You can also check out our merch. Be sure to follow us on IG at Black Astrology Media. And you can also follow us at Black Astrology. It's like thinking like, are we gonna die every time we get on the plane? Or yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I can't think like that because I'll I'll go to like dark places. I can't think of anything. And that's good for me because I'm a Sagittarius moon, honey. Yes, I'm very into astrology.